Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Pam here. I'm outside today, which I'm sure many of you guys are too. I bet you've been riding your bikes, jumping rope, playing basketball, just anything you can find to do. Myself, I've been picking spinach, checking my asparagus bed. Today, we're getting ready to work on our blackberries, which is behind me. They are an absolute mess. So that's our plan for the day. As I've been out here looking at all the blooms and everything going on outside, it reminded me of what I've been reading um, in the evenings at home um, in the book of Luke. Luke's gospel talks about how Jesus prayed often. And even though he was busy with people and his disciples and traveling from town to town healing people, Jesus still made it a point to take time to be with his father. He knew that that was important. And as I've been reading, I've gotten to the Last Supper, which if you remember, it's where um, Jesus wanted to spend that Passover meal with his disciples. And after the meal, Jesus took them out to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. He needed to spend time with God to um, pull strength from him for what he was about to face. The disciples went along, and as you remember, they started out praying and they fell asleep. Well, they had been there so many times that Judas knew exactly where to tell the officials to come so they could arrest Jesus. He was in his special place. So boys and girls, if Jesus has a special place, if he had one, then that makes me think that I need one, that you need one. A place where we can go where there's no distractions. It might be the corner of your bedroom. If you have a big closet, maybe it might be in there. Clean out a little section. Look around your house and see where you can make a little special place. So that's your family challenge for you. Go in your house, find that special place. Be with God. Take time. Tell him about your day. Tell him about your thoughts and your concerns, your worries and your fears. Praise him and thank him for your daily provisions. This place can be anywhere you choose. Just make sure it's a place where you're not distracted, where you don't see your toys and your games, where your Xbox is not calling your name. Once you find that place, if you'd like to share it, send it to Miss. Amy and myself, we'd love to see a picture of it. You can even put it as hashtag MCC Family Challenge.